Okay, so this came a couple of days ago. Let me back this a little bit. And uh, Toro. Sorry about the shatter. Trying to show you our 6.75 140cc Coley engine. Problem is not starting. The problem is the cable. Right here. Yep. Broken cable. For the self propel. Okay. Um, start right here. Yeah. Gotta loosen this up. Cause we're gonna pull that out of there. Get the new one in there. Might have to get my screwdriver too. Trying to hold this, keep the from moving. There we go. Then it come down to here, and I'm gonna have to get me some tool each. I'm trying to sit y'all here, cause I gotta get underneath. <clears throat> hey, this is working right here. They ain't working for nothing else, so it worked for me. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get underneath here. Get these bolts. Let me see if I can show y'all right quick. Yeah, one is here, and there should be another one. Where's that other bolt? Oh, over here. So we got one bolt here, one bolt back there. That's what I gotta do. I gotta get those out. Hopefully, I'll be able to see some of this. Just grab this little what you call it. I doubt if it's any gonna be any great deal here. So y'all might not be seeing too much of anything. Cause I can't seem to get y'all to sit. I'm trying to think, can y'all see something? Y'all might can see a little something. But I gotta get the two bolts first. They look like a 10. <clears throat> and you could turn this to the side if you wanted to. Been um, haven't been taking too many jobs lately. But that's really because I've been wanting to play around with the, um, the bikes and things. And, and then you know, now that I got the, the what's because I got to do a little work on it. I'm waiting on the. Um, OB, uh, OB, OBD2 scanner. I have one, but mine is like super old. I've had that thing whew, for long years. So I ordered me one off of um, Amazon. Come on, screw. Gotta be careful with these screws, they come out of plastic. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's the only two I'm gonna need. Okay. Let me set this back down here for a second. Chair, you did your job. Yep. Oh, look at this. Go ahead and move this out the way too. Cause that gonna cause the problem later. Probably get the broom and sweep it off. But you can see how it works when that cable pulls like that, and that's what tightens it up. 
to uh, make this up appeal as the motor spin, make this hill spin now, which turns the wheels. Okay. So, the cable just pops in there. So you got two little clips right here on the side, right here, and it sticks in here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the two little clips out, then I'll unhook it here. Okay. I gotta find something else for y'all to see it all stand on while I do this. Come here, chair. Work again for me. <laughs> chair gets to work. I hope y'all can see a little bit. Okay. So get this one off by hand first. There you go. Normally you would get you like a pair of plows, just squeeze it. But I didn't did it enough time with these so busted up hands of mine, you know. And that's it. Now I have to go get the other cable because I didn't bring it out with me. So y'all gonna have to hold tight for a second. What they say? Don't forget to recycle. <laughs> yeah, case members on as well ordering from. Okay, there you go. That's your part number. What's this other one? Oh, made in China. Made in China. Now I like, like I said, I like to get the bottom on first. The sweeping of this, I'm gonna just do that off camera because when I went inside to get this, I didn't bring the dog on broom. So that's why I said I'm gonna do that then. Okay, so let's hook this part here first. Oh, you. There you go. Want to fuss and fight with me like that. Alright. Set my cable right here. So to be out the way. Kind of seems like it wanted to be in the way, huh? That should just pop in. Nice and snug. Alright. Let's go up here. Usually what I like to do is take them out. It's gonna be kind of hard with one hand, but let's see if we can get it. There we go. Yeah, I usually like to take mine out because it's easier to get the um, the cable inside. Then I'll put it back. Okay, let's slide this in here. It usually don't work with one hand, y'all. So it's a little hard for me. Eh. With one hand, <clears throat> okay. What I'm doing is unscrewing the whole thing so that I can get the cable in here since I hooked it there. Just Gotta get it back past the screw. There we go. Then I'll just use something to open it up and pull it up. There we go. Put that back. Screw this back on here. But it's kind of hard for me to do this and show y'all. I'm not gonna put this all the way tight because I'm gonna have to do a little adjustment. Okay, let's see if we can get this one back. Okay. Now here's, this is what I say, this is where the adjustment come in to get my tension, you know. I gotta have that tension so that when I hit the, the, um, 
the deal it'll come up so let's try it right there see and then we're looking over here that's looking pretty good to me what y'all think and then what you do the last little piece that y'all right here the last little piece Sorry about my big old hands. The last little piece is zip tying everything back together. Put your stuff look good. And you definitely want to do this if you um if you're doing this for somebody because it, it makes your work look good too. So one there. Not they had a hole right there. Okay, so that's gonna look good like that. Move that old chip back out my way. All right, all I got left is to put my cover back on. Like I said, I got that on now. Did get a little trouble with it, but not nothing major. I gotta tighten up my zip and that'll be it. But I'm gonna cut a little bit of my grass because I do need it. Finally got a little sun down here. So, thank y'all. Have any questions? Don't forget to ask. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank y'all.